Greetings everyone, this is Mr. Strobel and today we're going to be making selections in Photoshop with the quick mask mode. And so today we have a picture of Lady Liberty, all right, and here is what the finished image is going to look like when we're all done. So we're going to select her from the background and we also want the base of the statue to be brought into the selection as well. So let's show you how we're going to do this. So here's my image, all right, we covered a couple of the selection tools already with the magic wand tool and the quick select tool. So remember the magic wand uses the color of the pixels that you select and then we can change the tolerance up here at the top to add or subtract the amount of that color that tone that we want to select. All right and then we also have the quick select which works with the edge of an image. So we're going to start off with the quick select tool and we're trying to figure out which one is the best one for the job. Part of making selections is knowing which tool is the right one that I want to use depending on what kind of image I'm in. All right, so I'm going to kind of zoom in here with my control plus. All right, hold down the space bar to move it around with the hand tool. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and try the quick select tool and we're going to kind of see how it goes. Remember, you can increase the size with the bracket keys on the keyboard. So if I just start bringing in these pixels here. All right, does a pretty decent job of snapping to the edge here. All right, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. And we're going to bring in like her face, her arm. I'll shrink down my quick select tool, my brush, and it's doing a pretty decent job of selecting the edge of the image. All right. Um, okay, and we could probably spend a little more time and get this looking nice, but it's doing a decent job. Notice it's not doing a perfect job. All right, and then if I wanted to bring in uh, her hat that she's wearing, all right, this is a little bit more of a difficult selection here with the quick select because um, we got some fine points that we're trying to bring in. And notice uh, it does an okay job here, uh, but it's not doing a great job. And this is going to take me some time uh, to kind of go through each one and do this. And there is an easier way. So the quick select tool is great. You can use this in combination with the other selection tools, but I'm going to show you and point out that it's actually not the best tool here for the job. All right, the best tool uh, is going to be a combination. We're going to try the magic wand here and see how far that gets us. So if you ever make a mistake, you can always undo, or if you make lots of mistakes, control alt Z uh, and you can back up more than once. But I'm just going to deselect my entire image with uh, right up here select and then deselect and then notice your your shortcut right there is control D alright so I'm gonna do control D I'm gonna start all over alright cuz that was gonna take me a while and there's a lot there's a much easier way of making this selection so I'm gonna start off instead of selecting her notice she's got lots of different uh, some shadows in here and so the sky isn't bad but we got a cloudy sky today it's not a clear one and so we might have to kinda of play with a different tolerance uh, to make this happen so I'm gonna start off at about 50 for the tolerance and I'm gonna make sure I'm in add mode okay and so I'm gonna click once and notice it starts bringing in the sky and it is kinda of getting the edge of our statue here and doing a pretty decent job I'm just gonna make sure I'm in add mode up here in my options bar add to selection notice there's subtract if we select too much and I'm just gonna start kinda of clicking multiple times and I'm trying to select the sky and I'm clicking multiple times to kinda of bring this in and if I kinda of zoom out there's my marching ants and it's doing a pretty decent job on the right side here, but notice we're getting some of the book and we're getting some of the statue and we're trying to just select one or the other, either the background or the statue, not both. So my tolerance is a little bit high. I'm going to start over. I'm going to bring down my tolerance uh, a little bit down, all the way to around, around 10. And I'm going to start over with Control D to deselect. All right, let's try this again. All right, notice we're not getting as many pixels here because I lowered my tolerance. All right, so I might go up just a little bit until we start bringing in some more of those clouds and the sky. And if I do multiple clicks here, it's doing a pretty good job of getting the clouds and the sky. So, but I have to do a few more clicks here. And, but notice that it's getting the edge a lot better than the quick select tool was. And I can kind of clean this up here. I might zoom in to get part of her crown. All right, and there it goes. It's snapping right to the edge and I'm just bringing in kind of all the different parts. And notice how long that took me. Uh, maybe what, 15, 20 seconds to 
uh, selector, and it didn't take me very much time or very much work or effort, and uh, it looks pretty good. I might get this one little guy here. There we go. All right, now, there's my selection. It's not bad. All right, but notice that I just have, I have the sky, I just have the sky selected. All right, so I don't want this stuff in here, because right now if I did a control J and put it on a new layer, well, right now I have what selected? I have the sky, and I want to select Lady Liberty. So I'm going to undo that. All right, and I'm going to show you how to use the quick mask mode. All right, this comes in handy all the time. Sometimes the magic wand or the quick select tool doesn't quite do the job. So we're going to go down here on the bottom, towards the bottom of your tools panel, and we're looking for edit and quick mask mode, or the keyboard shortcut is Q on your keyboard. And notice what happens whenever I click on it. Okay, it starts showing you what is selected. All right, so the selected pixels are in color. All right, and the pixels that are not selected are in this red, okay, by default. And you can change it if you really wanted to. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to paint in your selection here with the paintbrush. So I'm in quick mask mode. You can tell that you're in quick mask mode two ways. Well, one, we got some red, uh, this red shading is covering our image. And plus up here at the top in my document, it says quick mask mode. So if I just click those, okay, you can kind of see that changes to normal mode. All right, and now I'm back in quick mask mode. All right, so we just turn that on and off. All right, quick mask mode is only useful when we're selecting pixels. So now that we're in quick mask mode, we're going to go and find your paintbrush. All right, it's about you know about halfway down or so underneath the band-aid, and we're going to find the brush tool. All right, now by default the brush tool uh, kind of looks like this. And I'm just going to show you how it works here. Okay, right now, notice my color pickers down here are either black or white. Okay, and so if I click once, notice I got this red, so it's kind of uh, deselecting these pixels here. All right, notice the edge of my brush. Okay, it doesn't have a nice, fine, hard edge. It's, go it's called a soft edge. And I can change that by coming up here to my options bar. And here's the hardness, and I can just kind of slide that up. And down, I want a nice hard brush, okay? And you'll see the difference here whenever I click. Notice the difference of the edge of my brush compared to what I was using. So we want a nice hard brush here, but I want to I don't want to deselect these pixels here, so I'm going to switch over to white. All right, and notice that I can kind of just paint out these pixels that I don't want. So I'm just going to clean up what I was doing there. All right, I'm going to clean this up over here. Looks like our magic wand was having some trouble with those clouds. All right, and I said I just want the base of the statue and the statue itself. All right, so I'm going to start kind of painting out these pixels here. And I'm just going to kind of clean this up. And I want just the edge of kind of this platform, the base of the statue here. So I'm going to decrease my brush. It's a little too big. And I'm just going to kind of paint out the stuff that I kind of don't want. If I ever make a mistake and I go too far, I can always fix it by switching my colors over here. So black, okay, black paints it out, and white will paint it back in. All right, so the pixels that are being selected here are the ones that are in color. Okay, if it's in red, it means we're deselecting that. All right, and I kind of got this messed up over here. I'll kind of clean this up. And it always helps when you're doing this to zoom in. All right, and we'll kind of just finish that off. All right, make it look good, make it look close. All right, and there is my decent selection of my Lady Liberty. All right, I'll kind of zoom out, and I'm going to get out of quick mask mode right here in the bottom, so edit in, quick, in uh, standard mode. Okay, and then there's my marching ants there. Now, do I have the background selected or do I have the statue selected? Okay, uh, I actually have the background selected, so I want to do the opposite. Okay, so to do the opposite, I'm going to do a select and then inverse or control shift I on the keyboard. All right, and there we go. And now I have the Lady Liberty selected. I'm just going to do a simple control J and copy those pixels to a new layer. And there is my selection. It's pretty good. It uh, looks nice. We're just going to finish her off with a new layer and we'll drop in a simple gradient background. Okay, whatever colors look good, maybe some... Uh, you know, red, white, and blue colors. I'll double click on my color stopper, uh, find a nice red, and we got a nice red, white, and blue. You can kind of change your options up here in your gradient. 
Okay, click and drag. There we go. And I'm going to drop this below my Statue of Liberty in my Layers panel. And that's it. All right, go ahead and you're just going to throw your name on there with a layer style. Uh, you're going to throw two layer styles on there, actually. And so, again, in my Layers panel under FX, okay, here's my different uh, layer styles. And I'm just going to throw like a simple, let's see, maybe I want white. Okay. Notice white doesn't show up very well here, so I'm going to change my blend mode to normal. And you'll see it show up just a little bit more. There we go. You can kind of see it a little bit better. I'll throw maybe a stroke. And black. I don't know if I like black. Let's do blue. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker so you can see it. There we go. So there we go. I got a stroke and a drop shadow on there. And I want that drop shadow a little bit bigger. All right. So throw a couple of uh, layer styles on there to kind of finish her off. And that's it. And actually, I don't know if I like the white. Let's go. Let's go that one with the red. There we go. That's not too bad. And you're going to save this as a JPEG and a PSD. You're going to call it last name, first name, Lady Liberty. All right. And you're going to turn this in. All right. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. And that's how you use the quick mask mode to make a selection. Thanks for watching.